Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 8th of 2023. Well, it is titled artificial night sky brightness. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the entire Earth and stretched out before us. And the different colors represent the brightness of the night sky. So areas that you see in the orange and the red have become so bright due to light pollution that the Milky Way is no longer visible. You cannot see our galaxy from those regions. Now, of course, these are tied to the most populated areas in the world. And you see that the eastern eastern part of North America, including major population centers in the United States and Canada, as well as the West Coast are very bright areas. In between, we have a lot of darker areas uh, out in the western part of the US and much of northern Canada, much more sparsely populated and far, far less light pollution. Same in South America, we can see that the Amazon basin very dark there, but some of the major cities and major population centers, especially around the coast, are prominently illuminated. And when we get into Europe, Europe very, very bright all around, very few really dark areas remaining in Europe, except for maybe some of the far northern areas, far northern parts of Scandinavia, very much of it is all very bright. And that goes through the Middle East out into India. And then finally out to Asia, where much of eastern portions of China are very bright, as well as Japan and South Korea. Other areas like the central portions of Africa, the Sahara Desert, very, very dark. So very dark skies still remain there and much of Australia except for around the coasts. But light pollution is a major problem and of, keeps you from seeing many fainter objects. Certainly bright objects like the moon and many of the brighter planets are still visible even from the brightest locations on Earth. You can see those. However, the fainter stars start to become invisible and it becomes harder and harder to pick out constellations from these brighter regions. So only the brighter stars can get can light can come through uh, the glow of the atmosphere. And that is different uh, molecules in the atmosphere that reflect light from Earth. So light that we shine down on Earth from buildings and streets and everything else that then is reflected up into the sky and then back to Earth. And that causes the night, night sky to be rather bright in many areas. And there are a lot of areas where we can no longer reach the typical limiting magnitude which is about considered sixth magnitude is about the faintest stars to be seen with the naked eye and in some areas it can be much brighter than that in some of the very brightest areas the magnitude can go down as low as four or even less than that and that is a factor of six times less bright that we can see so less bright things that we're able to see by a factor of six in the brightness. And of course, some of the very brightest areas, it can be even worse than that. You may be only seeing the brightest constellations in the sky. So here we get to see a map kind of demonstrating and showing what light pollution is like. And the scale down there on the lower left showing the very brightest areas there up into the reds and finally into gray at the very peak brightness of these. And all the way down to the very darkest sites where everything is almost as it was hundreds and thousands of years ago. So that was our picture of the day for March 8th of 2023. It was titled Artificial Night Sky Brightness. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.